Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Michael Mann with Entrepreneur Freedom where I can show you great ideas and great tools to grow your online business or to even start one. So in today's video, we're going to do something a little different. Normally I would look at features, but I am actually going to do an automation build with Boostspace. If you don't know much about Boost, sorry, Boostspace, there would be a link at the bottom of a video which I did a couple of weeks ago about this platform. It's an amazing platform, it's powerful, and you can do a lot of different automations with it, like if you was using Zapier or integration. This is a really powerful tool. But today, we're gonna to build an automation where you can take your blog posts and post them as pins on your Pinterest account. So that way you can get organic traffic flowing to your website. Because you know that Google updated their algorithm about maybe about two or three months ago and a lot of people lost traffic on their websites so hopefully this automation can help you get some of that traffic back okay so let's jump right into this and get this automation built now the first thing I would do is recommend that you um, log into your Pinterest account and your back end of your WordPress so that way this can be easy to do so let's jump right in. So the first thing we're going to do is go into WordPress at the back end. And some of the things I've already done already because I've built this automation and I'm using it on my Pinterest to test it out to see if it really works. And so far I've gotten some clicks and it's working out pretty good. So anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to um, add new plugin. Okay. And then you're going to go, you want to, um, sorry, Actually, you want to go to search here. Sorry, let me go back down here. You're going to go type make.com. Okay. And you're looking for this make connector. This will allow you to connect your WordPress to Boost Space. Okay. So, what you could do is you will install it and then you activate it. Once you've activated it, it's going to put a make folder on the side of the website. Okay. So click on make and then what you're looking for here is a API code which is right here. So what you're going to do is you can copy that or you can leave that right there for now. I say leave that there for now and let's jump right into boost space. Okay. So in boost space you're going to go to create scenario. Sorry. And you're going to start with the first module which will be WordPress. Okay. So type in WordPress to look for it. Oops. Let me type that in. Okay. And in WordPress, in, the, in this module, you need to get watch post. That means basically any post that you put or anything, it's going to watch it and it's going to grab it and create a pin for you on your Pinterest website. Okay. So what you're going to do is add. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your URL here and you're going to have to put some other information here, which I'll show you in a second. Let me get that real quick for you. Okay, so you're going to put the URL website here if it's .com or .net, whatever it is, but you can put slash WP-JOSN. Make sure that's there. If it's not there, this is not going to work for you or connect to your website. Okay, so then you go back to your website, back you get the, uh, the AP code, and you put that in there. Okay, and this is giving permission to talk to your website. Okay, so you hit save. So what it's going to do is, is connecting to your website and once that's done, it's going to open up another menu and we're going to do a couple more things. Okay. To make this easy. Again, this is very simple and easy to build. Now for type, once it opens up, sorry, once it opens up type, you're going to type in post with an S. Okay. Make sure you put that in there with, with an O. Oh, sorry, with an S. <laughs> so you're going to click on that for the type. Now for status, you want to make sure that you choose publish so that way all of your blog posts that's published, it's going to automatically post to your Pinterest site. Okay. So make sure that's clicked down here. Limits limits means that if you want to do one or two or three or four or five a day or an hour or a minute, that's what the limits were. So we're going to do one. Okay. And then you're going to go down here to choose how you want to set it up. So you want to set it up again. You want to set it up for a day, every other day, 15 minutes or whatever you want to do. Just stroll down, do once a day, every day, week or monthly. So we're going to leave 15 minutes. We're going to leave that for now. Okay. We're just, we're just building this out. So we're going to hit okay. So sometimes another menu will pop up. If it doesn't pop up, then you just click on that, close this 
and then another menu that you need will pop up okay so you need to click all just make sure you select all okay and hit okay okay so the next module you need is HTTP okay so you can type that in there or you might have used it before it might pop up so click on that and what you need out of this is make a request so you need HTTP to request information from WordPress and that's what it is okay so up here to fill out this information all you need is URL to get the URL you can't just get it you have to run this first so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on them in inside the screen and then you're gonna right click on WordPress icon you're not gonna go down here to run you're gonna go here to WordPress uh, run this module once okay so you're gonna run it once and then it's gonna run and then you want it to turn green if it turns green it's good to go as you can see it's good to go let's slide this over here a little bit so you can make sure you can see everything so after that's turned green you want to you can check to see if the data is here all the data looks good okay you're going to click on this and then you're going to go into here and then you're going to look for the feature image now you could type feature image in here you can abbreviate it you can type it abbreviate it and get what you want that makes it a little quicker what you're looking for is right here is the feature image right there and then you want to put this h r e f that's what you want click on that and it's automatically going to add the link and the the um, feature image and the that right there so that's all you really need all you do let me go back hit okay okay then that's set up next module you need is json so type json okay i must not type it <laughs> okay and you need person um, you need this one right here okay so make sure you choose this one here Parson okay Jason Parson so then here what you're going to do is you're going to click on here and then what you're going to do is you want to get the data from HTTP okay it has to be HTTP data so you're going to click on this right here data and it's going to be in blue the great thing about this it breaks everything down so this is black this is blue and this is going to be purple which you'll see in a minute so click on data and hit ok all right now what i would do is save it and then run it just to make sure everything lights up in green make sure there's no issues just don't worry about the um, error make sure there's no issues near all of these are green okay so they're all green so they're good to go so let's move this over a little bit more Again, this is a very simple, easy, easy build. If you have any questions, just you know, put the comments and I can answer them for you. So the next module you need is Pinterest. Now, Pinterest, if you logged into your Pinterest account, you should have a pop-up menu when you want to connect this and it gives it and then you can give it permissions to access your Pinterest account. Okay? That's why I say log in. So what you want in this one, you want to create a pin. That's what you want. Okay? And now what's going to happen is if you're connected, it's going to connect. If it's not, it's going to do, it's not going to connect. But just to be safe, we're going to do add and we're going to do save. And then on the side over here, you will see it. You won't see my screen. It's going to ask for authorization. Very simple, very easy to do. So you're going to authorize boost space to use, sorry, to access your um, Pinterest account. Once that's done, you act, you give the authorization, you're going to have access to open up all these menus. So give it a few seconds after it's verifying. Once it's done, it's going to refresh it and you're good to go. Now, in the source page, what you need is you need to get the image. Okay, so that's going to be the image you're going to use for your pin so that people can see it. And then to get the information, to get the pin information, you click on this. And then what you need to do is from the J the JSON, which is this, you need to get the renders. So click on that and then renders we put in there. Okay. Close that out. Okay. The next thing you need to do is to choose what board you want to put it on. Okay. So if you have a bunch of boards, it's going to pop up. I only have one. So we're going to choose this board. Okay. Then the title, the, the title is roughly what the title is on your WordPress website. So what you're gonna do is go down here to the black area where it says title, look for titles, and then this, cause this is the title of, the, of your blog post. So look here and you can see that it shows the title of your blog post. So click on that and put that in there. Description, description is a basic description of what it's going to do is take that and create a, a basically 
uh, a summarized description of what it is. And that is coming from your WordPress website. So what you're going to go down here is you're going to look for expert. Let's see here. And this is the, this is the basic information about it. So you're going to click on that one. Okay. The next last part you need in this is your link. Okay. So what you're going to do is go down here and grab your link. Okay. Which is right here. Your link for your website. I mean, sorry, for the blog post. So you click on that. Okay. Close that. So just go back and make sure you have your image URL, your rendance where the image is stored, which your image is at. Okay. Which is on here, on your JSON. Um, what board you're going to post it on. You can skip this part here. The title, you want to make sure that it grabs the title of the blog post and a little description of the blog post. You want to make sure you have that. Okay. And then the link. So what this is, is going to add a link to the pin to make it simple and easy for you to, uh, sorry, make it simple and easy for them to get to your website. So what they're going to do is they're going to click on the pin and they're going to have the link and then, and then it's going to be in the description where they can get the, uh, link to the website or click on it and send them straight to the website. Okay. For your blog post. Okay. Simple and easy. Okay. So what you're going to do now is you're going to save this. And you can rename it up here to whatever you want to put. So if you want to just put, you know, Pinterest and put down that, you can do all that. You can take all this out. And then you can actually, if you want to change the name of these um, automations, you can just right click and you can rename each one of these. Okay. That's up to you. So that way it could be nice and clean. Okay. So what you're going to do after you've saved it, you're going to test it. Okay. You want all these to turn green. Okay, so it's turned green. You can look at the data to see if it worked. And then to make sure that it worked, you go to Pinterest, refresh it, and then added the pin right here. Okay, because I have this pin here already. So it added the pin right here. Now, you go into the pin, it has a little description. It tells you what the title of the product is or whatever you, of your blog post is. And if you click this, it's going to take you straight to the website where that article is written and people can see it. So this is how you're going to get organic traffic back to your website. Okay. Again, you know, Google updated the algorithm and a lot of people lost traffic. I lost quite a bit of traffic and um, I came across this and decided to build it out and share it with you guys, especially if you have lots of blog posts on your website and you're trying to do organic traffic. Okay. So this is basically a simple build. It's very simple. Again, this is a, this is a how to do video and how to build an automation with boost space. Again, I'll put the link at the bottom explaining more about this, um, um, build, sorry, not this build, this automation and this platform. It's a great platform and I'm hoping to do more videos. So Again, if you want to see more videos like this, um, subscribe and comment. If you have any questions, comment. I will be sharing the step-by-step. -step. I will have that if you want it. Just um, send me um, a comment and I'll share. Actually, I will share this file with you, this build. And all you got to do is go in and change out the stuff for your stuff. And I'll share you. The st I will send the step-by-step, -step, okay? So again, if you want to see more of this content like this, just hit subscribe or just basically comment at the bottom. This is Michael Mayer with Entrepreneur Freedom. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one and you have a great day. Bye.